Somebody put your hands together for Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Let's go into the word of God this morning in the name of Jesus. I have an uncommon mandate. It is difficult but I have committed myself to God to do it. And I pray that you cooperate with me so that this divine mandate will be fulfilled in our lives. Somebody say amen. Deuteronomy chapter 1 verse 6 to 8. I also read verse 10 and 11. Verse 6. The Lord our God spoke unto us in Herob saying ye have dwelt long enough in this mountain. Turn you and take your journey. The New International Version says break camp and go to the mount of the Amorites and unto the places nigh there unto you. In the plains, in the hills, and in the valley, and in the south. And by the seaside of the land of the Canaanites. And unto Lebanon, the great river, the river Euphrates. Behold, I've set the land before thee. Go in and possess the land. Which the Lord swear unto your fathers Abraham and Jacob and Isaac, Isaac and Jacob to give unto them and unto their seed after them. Let's go to verse 10. The Lord your God has multiplied thee. And behold, you are this day as the stars of heaven for the multitude. Verse 11. The Lord God of your far fathers. The Lord God of your fathers make you a thousand times so many more as you are. And bless you as he promised you. And everybody said. And everybody said. Okay let me read it now. And then you say after me. The Lord. God of your fathers. Make you a thousand times. So many more. As you are. And bless you. As he has promised you. And everybody said. Amen. Amen. The mandate I'm given today. Is a bit complex. I'm not a preacher who preaches prosperity. But I preach the full gospel of God. This month of February, as it was starting, the Holy Spirit visited me and told me that we have a big mandate as a church. Especially in these last days. We have a big assignment to accomplish. Which we are not able to accomplish accomplish when we stay where we are especially numerically financially even in other physical aspects of life so the Holy Spirit spoke unto me and told me that millionaires and billionaires are not born they are made I was asking God how shall we be able to accomplish the tasks and the projects thou hast given unto us. How shall we be able to preach the gospel so fast? How shall we be able to pay for all the bills 
bills we need to, to pay for. And the Lord spoke to me that I've given you power and authority to raise millionaires and billionaires from among you. And say, so I'm going to put your, my spirit upon you. And I'm going to raise millionaires and billionaires from that congregation you are seeing. It is unbelievable but I've seen the hand of God at work in my life so I believed God that God is raising millionaires and billionaires in this church starting from this month let me ask if I may so that we can move together I want to know whether you are the right people for this message how many of you want to be millionaires and billionaires? I thought you didn't want. Are you serious? If you want it now, I'm going to preach like a fire machine. Because now I know that I'm speaking to the right people. In the name of Jesus. In this text where we have read, we see God come and visit Moses. And spoke word unto him. And told him that you've stayed for so long. On Mount Horeb, on Mount Sinai. Now it is the time for you to break camp and take possession of the lands that are preserved for you. Horeb was a mountain of the Lord. Horeb is a mountain of encounter. Horeb Moses met God. Horeb again is a mount called Mount Sinai. Those two names are used interchangeably in the Bible. Sometimes they thought Horeb or Sinai. But it's a place where everybody knows Israel met God and God broke the Ten Commandments and gave them to Israel. It is still in the same place where Israel made a calf, a golden calf. When Moses was still in the mount, speaking to God, and then God came down and destroyed everything through Moses. There was a plague that killed around 3,000 people. But anyway, Moses prayed and they were reserved. I mean, the rest were preserved. It is the same place where Israel encountered God after they had set themselves apart for three days. Exodus 19. So God told them, consecrate thyselves for three days. For on the third day, I'll come unto thee and visit thee. So God came down on Mount Sinai and the cloud of his presence filled the mountain. Israel saw the presence of God face to face. Well, they were not able to go in but Moses went in in the presence of God. He was covered in the cloud of the presence of God. And Israel worshipped God. They saw the flames of fire. They saw the chariots of fire. They saw the glorious presence of God on this mountain Herob. It is an historical mountain for the children of Israel. But this morning, we are reading that God gave them a command. So as I'm sharing, I'll share about the threefold command that God gave to the children of Israel. And also share about the power of increase. The power of supernatural increase. And lastly, I'll share about the supernatural blessing of God that makes you a millionaire and a billionaire.
billion and a billion. Somebody say amen. Amen and nene. Somebody say I'm ready for that. Hallelujah. Amen, amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I want you to know it from the onset. That God delights in continually increasing you. God delights in continually increasing you. Speak it to yourself. That my soul hear this. Your God delights in increasing you continually. Speak it again. My soul hear the word of the Lord. Your God delights in increasing you continually. My soul don't be satisfied. Press on and go for what God has for you. In Jesus mighty name. God bless you so much. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I remember my life when I just got in saved. I had finished campus with a degree and I've just gotten a job. And this job was highly paying. I prospects of prospering. And that's how God called me out. And sent me to Mubende. I arrived in Mubende on the 8th of August 2003 at 2 PM. That was my first time. I got a house somewhere. I paid for it. I went back to Kampala to get my team. I had a team of four people. So I went for them. They came. But after two weeks, they left me alone. They could not withstand the, the persecution, the kind of, 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 of struggle, the spiritual wars in Mobende. And they went back. So it's like I came alone. Because for two weeks you can't say that you've done the work of God and the church has started. We had not even started service. We are still moving around seeing the places and preaching the gospel. But in the night they used to get demonic attacks and dreams. So they say this land is hard. We have be able to start. They left me alone. By that time I wasn't married yet. I stood and started to preach. Door to door. House to house. Person to person. And I saw people getting saved one by one. And life contumed. If you look at now what God has done. I think you can clap for God. Because a person who came alone if we are like this and this is a bad Sunday most of the people have not come God. but you can see what God has done and we praise God for that in this land God has multiplied me God has established me you can't talk about two churches in Mubende without talking about victory church as long as you are talking about powerful churches unless you are just jealous praise God Amen. but you can't talk about two powerful churches in Mubende without talking about victory church but all the churches which are here the people here I found them here those powerful churches I found the people here all of them came before me but God has blessed us. God has multiplied us. God has established us. God has pushed our voices to the nations. We have moved to the nations. And we are doing greater things in the Lord. This is not by our power. It is by the power of the Almighty. It is the grace of God. The blessing of God. And the power of excellence that comes from increase which is upon me and upon us all that is causing us to prosper this way the same God has seen enlarging me giving me a best 
beautiful wife giving me the best children giving me the best church members brothers and sisters and praying to that same God who will bless you and prosper you who will take you to another level that same God who will increase you beyond all the limits they set for you for you said which is said you never supersede that level with the word of the Lord and I am saying that the time has come to go to another level the time is now for you to prosper in the limits they set for you your mind the boundaries they set for your life the boundaries they set for you the numerical boundaries they set for us the spiritual boundaries they set for us Spanning to the left, spanning to the right, spanning to the north, spanning to the south, in the name of Jesus. And today I have a mandate to pray for you, to speak into your life. So that you become a millionaire and a billionaire. In the name of Jesus. How shall this be? Everything that happens in the natural begins in the spirit. God saw the confusion and the formlessness of the earth. Because the earth was empty and void. And darkness hovered all over. There was nothing visible you could see. God spoke it word by faith. And suddenly there be light. And there was light. Let there be an expansion between the land and the sky. What has happened? There be rivers, lakes, and whatever. This happened. He commanded the vegetation into existence. The power of his word. This morning I'm speaking about the power of his word. Oh, he said to prove the word of God because of things to be when God speaks his word is not a proposal his word is a command his word will get you from tens from hundreds from thousands from tens of thousands and it will proceed to the millionaire sellers it will proceed to the billionaires in the name of Jesus the assignment you have is big you need resources more than you have now because somebody can see in his future but what you want to do is greater than what you have now you need a divine boost you need a divine impact you need a divine intervention in your affairs you bring a new level of prosperity You have stayed long enough at that place. The Horeb is good. The Horeb is good. You have, you have had an encounter with God. But you've been there for so long. Number two, he told them. Break camp. Number three, he told them. Advance and process. That is the found command one he tells them you have stayed for so long in such a state what does that mean God sees you that you have been there for long you have carried in that state for so long you have been sick for so long you have been a beggar for so long you have been, been at the mass of people for so long you have been a helper for so long. You have been in that 
so long you feel the earning that amount of money for so long you are the level you are at where you've been there for so long you've got a salary for so long that's how rich a life life no longer changes because you've got it for so long it has no longer sustained to you need God to fast where you've overseen that you may go to another level I'm not telling you to change the position of the church I'm changing your spiritual financials if God is to change he changes three times he changes our numbers he changes the spirit and also physically listen in numbers he's telling us he's telling us we've on this number we've over on this number You footed for so long. If it could lose, it would have fallen even aside. You moved on foot. One body got trouble, Rubek. You doubt it would have fallen. But I was a Mukamorochi Sachi. But I thank God for His grace. But they are strong spring in your feet. You go on moving, but no losing. But that thing's the whole You've moved on foot for so long. You've taken time on your foot. Touch on your foot. Say, Oh Lord, you've had a prayer. I've ever said on the foot. Now I pray, Lord. This foot is a spreading of an accelerator. Step on accelerator. Step on accelerator. You want your prayer May God meet you in the name of Jesus. To others, you've ever said on two. All the time you're. Hey. Uh, our father is no vehicle, and then you leave the money with your poor uh, One time you do like that, and uh, you go out of the You have ever said on that? You've ever said on that? You've ever said on that? You've ever said on that? Even the motorbike is not going to be able to do that. You've ever said on that? 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 You
send the landlord his house. Somebody said, You're saying, I don't pay. I'm on my own. You've just said in that house, you need your house. You need your house in another one. Another one is saying, They gave me. Not until I build. I did everything on us has expired. You've never sent somebody's house. Expert date has come. I just saw out of the house. Send you in a house in the Send you in your car. Send in your car. I just want to Send it to your car. We must have a million and a billion. We have to raise millions and billionaires. You must hear the word of Moses. And the children of Israel go. We are saying of over financial setters of over Time is. You want to be earning between It's a time you go to five hundred thousand. There are no bit earning a bit. Kuba billionaire, Kuba millionaire. It's a time for God to push you to be a billionaire. If he had been earning a million of money, between one million, million kumi, and even the hundred, God is taking from that level. God is sending you to billions. This is your time. Do not overstate. Do not say them words. You've overstayed there. To your neighbor. Shake him like this. Just give him that. Take him. You've overstayed there. You've overstayed that situation. There are things you've overstayed. To, to others, you've said that you've seen. God is telling you, come out of it. Come out of it. Come out of If you don't come out of it, you have stayed for too long. God is telling you. Number two. Break camp. If you've ever said, come, you sit down. I'm not going on. This one break the camp. It's the only word of Amen. When the soldiers have a the time, time comes. And then they tell the Lemuel. And then they break the camps. And then they come there. And they put them in the back. And then they go on. I'm here to tell you. Time has come. The level where you're The level where you're going. The bewitching from where you're leaving that level. Those who leave the level where you are. Those who leave the levels where you are. And those who break the car against our church. What does it mean? Change your mind. Your Enlarge your vision. Pray on bigger things. So do big things. Change your perception. Because wealth. This is what I know about you. Number one. Mubugaga. In riches. There's no one they represent. If you're to grow rich, do not send me to represent you. I may not be faithful to give you money. I'll just give you a lift if I wish. And I give you some return. Uh, the balance when the house So when the Holy Spirit will come, meaning you have to come by yourself. Number two, what I'm about to reach is they begin in the souls. Before the soul change. Your speech and words will not change. The Bible says Proverbs 21. Proverbs 23. From verse 7. From verse 7. As man thinks in his head, that's how he is. Say, O oh Lord, help me that this man of Tologo may come out of me. That I may have a spirit. Touch on your head. Speak your heart. Say, O oh Lord, 
Whether you grew from camera maido. Camera maido. And even your camera maido. And even your son is a camera maido. You speak a good thing. Say, oh Lord, choose and change my mind. Change my mind. Give me a revelation. 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 But I'm ready. O kugenda mas. To go on. O kugagawala. To grow rich in Jesus name. Amen. Pute o kugagawala mu. You people you must grow rich. Manye kana se yaba vuna yote sumbika. You know it's not even easy to pass a church of people. Atura wenanyo mi wenti ne nyamba la kasutika. Don't you see that I'm putting on well. Bwana sumba ba vu ba kubeba mi miro buri kase. If you're passing poor people, they all the time and they are. They're not okay. Mama laba. Now look them. Taba mama kasuti. Look at the kasuti. Taba nanga kasati. Now look at the shots. Taba kaga tu. Yebuli kasera buli chimu chimu kubi semi miro. All the time somebody who's poor all the time is not settled. Gama tendo osa yobu afu. Say that some minds of people. Lose me. Ha. Lose me. Zirako da. Leave me daughter Jesus in the name of Jesus What does the second commandment say? Break the cup. What does it mean? You must leave the habits you've been doing. If been eating like a glutton, stop. Change your way of eating. Serving and you serve much. If you've been sleeping a lot, stop. Work hard. Proverbs 6. There is still a little slumber. And even holding of hands. Verses 4 to 11. Proverbs 6, 4 to 11. There is still a little slumber. And even little slumber. A little holding of hands. And a thief. Will come as a bear and break and steal you. Amen. Oh, you come as a hunter. You not understand the word. And poverty will All the time you're weak, poverty will come. The Bible says whatever they discover to do, do it. You read other verses by yourself. Amen. Yeah. Yes. Amen. Change your way of behavior. Change your way of giving. Amen. Change the way you worship God. When our soul is a prayer mind. Every time they could speak about giving, I could grow angry. Now pastor want to cheat me. And I'm poor and the other one is beyond me and I'm saying he wants to steal me. Pastor, I want to steal my money. And then I could get the least coin. And then give that least coin. I could continue be in poverty. I could continue be in begging. After serving, I was a praiser. And I could praise and worship. And after I could interpret. So after ministering, we could try it. When even your neck is out. And then you start begging the people you've been ministering to. I want some little water. As if they're the people who sent you to do that. Save me and give me some transport. I'm just going to Natete. And then you say laughing. When the situation is not changed, when our soul is a mind of worship, I could not even tithe. And yes, when I tithe, I will go to my poor. But when I knew the property sits in my mind, I said I'm going to behave a rich person. I'm going to start giving a rich person. I made a covenant and said I will not give a coin in church. I'm not telling you. 
Amen. I said I not repeat to give a coin. And he said be giving a paper. Number two made a covenant with God. I started paying the full time. When they could say people to pay. Even if I could not be having but I could not pay. And God could give me the man and And I started obtaining the blessing. I started obtaining the providence. I said Ever since I've never shrinked back. When you look at me, do you see me as a better? Look at me, maybe when you look at me, do you see me as if I'm a beggar? When you look at me, do you see me as if I'm a beggar? Amen. They are things that God does done for us. Amen. Hallelujah. God has blessed us. Now I am going You also want to bless you in today. The in the name of Jesus. There is a level you must live. Why when those are you know choose? There is a man you have to change. Your actions must change. Your speech must change. The way you keep your time must change. One of the rich people do they keep time. Whatever they have, the man price. They try to see that it man price itself. Amen. That's the anointing that came to raise up on you. That your man would change. And he dress that mind of rich people. Touch on your neighbor. Tell him, fellow rich man. Fellow rich woman. How are you doing? How are you? Hey. How are you doing? It's what business is going What business, business is going What business now? Change your way of speaking. It's so hard to find a rich person to go speak. And there are people who find that you the he gets the singers. He goes on speak to every person in church. It's poor people who are always in the A rich person who goes to But he goes on growing people. But I come to tell you to many of you. There's one group who has a group. And a group of people who There's a level going to go to you. And take you to another level. God has come to bring you to God has come to bring you to another level. That he may add a sword to you. Amen. Amen. Number three. He told them. Go and possess. The lands of the Amorites. And the Canaanites. Up to the river. The great river Ephraim. I want to tell you. There are lands all around you. Which you have to possess. You are not I've come to send you and to dress power like you. Go and buy the protein. I've come to prophesy to give them your business. That you may begin a new business. I've come to prophesy to supermarket that you may begin a new business. In the name of Jesus. I've come to prophesy this week. That you may start building another house. And complete it. That you may have an academy when they are coming No, don't have to your neighbor in the place where you are. Where you are. The place where you are. You are you are a new shop when it is. I come to prefer this. The repression can I've come to put 
Push into your world. Listen to this. When the world is about to end, God will not remove the church when it is poor. Let me tell you something. 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 If it is poor to go on when it is not okay. If it takes us when we are poor. To reach in heaven and say please. If at all I drove this car. Very soon you break sorry and go down. Amen. Amen. But as God did to the children of Israel, and favor this, they have a way to go to the church when they are leaving Egypt. When they are coming out of Egypt, they came with God on the sofa. God is going to first make a rush. God is going to make a rush. God will first give you what you want. So by the time you leave here, when you are satisfied, when you are not admiring God, I came to prefer this to see that your fire to see that your spirit to see that God pushes you forward in if you be an in between to send it out and I sent you between one million if you be an in between I sent you million you said earning millions in I've been here and earning one million I sent to another level that you may go in the top of the million you've been between one million and the other million so I sent you into millions in the name of Jesus say pastor what do you want from me pastor what do you want from me Mm. Yeah, he see you saying, Pastor, in our family, no one has a house. No one even bought a bus. No one, Pastor, want to make him a billionaire. You will become it in the name of Jesus. And you not go grow rich when you have to grow rich. You will not go grow rich when you have to grow rich. You will not go grow rich when you have to grow rich. There is grown rich when you are old like Ibishaka. When all the chicks are down, they are not good. You eat what you know from where to eat and then you die. Surprisingly, Surprising, died of diabetes and COVID. Yet me who is not good, I command COVID to go and cause Amen. But I pray that you may grow rich when you're still young. Build a reasonable house when you're young. When you go on the ladders when you make it. You drive a car when you can make it. But when you grow rich after growing up, other people will enjoy your riches. They sit in them and they drive when you find a shake. But it's good to drive when you still have some strength. And there you step on it. And then 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 you step on it. To touch on bigger things, including the cars, including houses, including money. Amen. If you see your neighbor pretending to be so much spiritual. Me, I don't want money. Now, pastor is preaching about money. Me, I don't want money. Sit up the person or pay him. Tell him. Do not pretend you need money. Mugambe, you are pretending you need money. Gamba we fula sento zenda ino. Amen. You say you know you're pretending to be so much spiritual. Oh, you remember? Oh, my God, my name.
You need money. 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 You need just money. You need millions and billions and billions and billions and billions of money. You need 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 that's what I prefer I've suffered this month of prayer for you not until you come out of that state until you enter your billions in the name of Jesus listen to me and go to me I'm going to pray you a thousand times like you are now but I'm going to pray you a thousand times Today you may not like me. But I'm going to my prayer a thousand times. Do not know what that means. This is no more application that the Bible talks about. And even what people talk about, they only stop on a hundred times. A hundred percent. A hundred percent. And when the Bible talks about the part of your soul, Matthew 5 17, it says there are some seeds that fall on the first of God. They bear the 30 times, other 60 times, and others 100 times. That's where they stop. But there is a supernatural application. When he says I'm going to my prayer a thousand times, it means there is a grace that God is putting you in the middle. Before something happens, you. you must have speak. Somebody been here praying for it. And you need the priest business. You've been praying for a new business. You need the priest to come I've come to seal it. That a new I've come to seal it. The new electronic I've come to seal it. your project I've come to seal it. your project I've come to see it. The land you bought my house. I've come to see it. The center of the commissary. Let your man ever come to see it. I've come to see it. The business of the commissary. Let your business be prosperous. Not one time. Not ten times. Not a hundred times. Not a hundred times. Not a hundred times. May God my prayer. May God my prayer. If he's the one speaking, he believes. If he's the one speaking, he believes. He has said, I will not buy you a thousand times. I want where you're rich now. Exactly where you are. I want you to write beside your book the salary you're earning. Only yourself. I don't want your neighbor to see Set off no more is, is the salary you get a month. Zwandike. Write them down. And then my pride that salary a, a thousand times. And see what God is meaning. That's what we are going to pray for me and you. You're delaying. You're delaying me right down. The money you earn a month. Yeah. If you earn 50,000, write them down. Amen. If you earn 200,000, write them If you get 2 million, write them down. And then map pray a thousand times. And let's pray together. This is what brought me here. To pray for that God may pray you a thousand times. Forgive me for abusing you. To tell you such a tough thing that you don't want. To tell that God is going to pray you. I see you are so much annoyed. Tell your neighbor, ask, why are you annoyed? Tell your neighbor, ask, why are you annoyed? If you see there was somebody who is annoyed because of my application, not that he is or she is the witch who be witching like that. Does not wish you. You've been earning to me my prayer a thousand times. And then go to five hundred millions. Fifteen millions. 
If it be earning 50,000, I'm praying for you. In not in many days, in no many months, the God of our in the name of Jesus, I'm saying, my God of our prayer is possible in the name of Jesus. Jesus. Go. There's somebody who's saying, Lord is with You will see it. If you don't believe your neighbor will become it and will see it. If you believe salary happen on me, salary happen on me. Have you written it down? Okay, add three zeros on that salary you've written down. On the salary you've written. Write three zeros on it. If you haven't my pride. Hallelujah. If you earn between a hundred thousand and one million or nine hundred thousand, you're earning a hundred thousand. pray a thousand times. How many millions are that? Hello. Kumi. Yes, Mukama Kutwari Molina. May God take you on that live in the name of Jesus. Can that turn Amen. Amen. What is broken? You're bewitching God is speaking the word and you're bewitching yourself. Amen. You have to change your souls and say, Lord, I believe you're going to increase me. And say, you're going to prosper. Do not look at your work. Do not look at your work. It's God's agenda. Yes, I'm going to apply yourselves and try. You see, I put them in the name of Jesus. The power of God that my pride. The word increase means to make great in the number in the amounts and in the intensity to make great or to multiply in the number in the amount and in the intensity May God my prayer and be Bible Bible this is how God Bible Luke 252 and Jesus increased in the wisdom and in his stature Amen Amen God can increase even the things which are innumerable May God increase wisdom in you. May God add favor in you. May God apply favor in you. May God apply the note in you. May God apply the glory in you. May God apply your ability in you. May God apply your soul. May God apply your soul. The things have been made. You come up to 
We have to change it. This is what the one If any earning between 10,000 and 500,000, God is going to send you to another level. If any earning between 100,000 and million, God is sending you to billions. God is sending you to billions. By here, the instruction. If you earn between 10,000 and 100,000, at least get 10,000 and offer it over the and to that building and see what God is going to do. If you earn between 10,000 and 100,000, here the instructions do them. Then you may go to another level. Because when you get 10,000 and give it unto God, if you might pray it as a million, already you are in 10 millions. Yes. It's true. It's true. Amen. Say, O oh Lord, as I take this step of faith, my prime as your word is saying, say, God, I want to test your word. And I see whether it's true. I believe it is true. But I'm going to try it and see the truthness of it. Amen. Amen. Now, if you've been earning between a hundred thousand and even nine hundred and ninety thousand, what are you going to do? At least, but at least get a hundred thousand. And give to it to God. Kuchizimbe kuchizimbe and let's put it on that building. You are going to see God. I mean, you know, since a pastor and pastor and pastor and pastor and pastor and pastor and Amen. This is not pastor's mandate. I'm not in the level of uh, By the way, the Buchanga and Burianji is Sabanga Koba Bantu Timunguri. And me, ever since I began preaching gospel, I've never asked people I to buy don't me ask for such stuff. Praise God. Amen. I can buy it for myself. It's very easy. Amen. I don't ask church members to help me. It's me to help them. Yes. Unless if God is telling you to do this. It's so hard for me to come and you and say, please. I, I, I've never did that. I don't know whether I'm proud. But I know what I am in God. Number two, I don't borrow. I'm among those people who do not borrow. I have no one demanding me. I have no debt. I made a covenant if you don't give me cum I not borrow. I don't want to borrow. The Lord if you don't give me, it means you don't have my program, take me away. Why do I go? On? You have when you take it when you take it as at least we leave them. Do you feel good when your pastor is being taken? They come and save your pastor. And even you become stupid. <laughs> Amen. You become stupid. Amen. If you borrow me, know that, you, know that that money you've given it to God. I eat it. You demand God. Make it, make it. I just consume that one. Amen. So, me, I don't borrow. You can borrow you people, but me, I don't. by the grace of God. Here, number last. At Gambia, he gave us three commands. Number one, you have a statement. Number two says, Break up. Number three says, Go and subdue the earth. So, number two, power that is in increase. Oh, my precious. You've already seen that. Have you seen when you go my president? We are like 300 people. If a thousand times, you see what I'm saying. That's what I'm meaning, and it will happen. It will come to pass. 
Tisera chitu use. It's time. Wana wetuli yegenda kubera parking. And this where we are is be parking. Wenzo kukanga uwa tude. Ira wogendo parking. Maybe where you are seated. That's where you go to be parking. Ujangu jukubedi van setura. You come and park it from there. Hii negenda kubera parking yo. It will be your parking. Mukama yeba shibwe. Amen. Amen. Kwa katukena kwa tusabira muli. Because you go to be fellowshipping the other church. Atina kukakaja kufunda tukamenye. And you also become small and great. Gamba amine ya manye yoko. Amen. Yes, you ever should. Hallelujah. Kakati, now, to become a billionaire. To become a billionaire. It's a number one. It, it takes the command of God. Number two. Number two. The increase, the divine increase of God. It takes the divine increase of and God. And number three. It, it takes the blessing of God. That's what I'm winding up with. Agabi, I'll bless you. As I promised. I will bless you. As I promised. Who promised? And yeah, yes, is a God. Katona. Did he promise to bless us? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Did he promise to bless us? Yes. 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 Yeah. Why? Watch. Because we are his covenant people. We are grandchildren of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob by faith. Whatever he promised Abraham. It is also yours in the name Whatever promise that you have is yours. Because you are Yakushubiza Yakushubiza He promised to bless you in the city and even the private. In the municipality and Kanyogoga. He will bless you in the name of Jesus. He says, shall be head Lord. He will bless you as you go. He will bless the and even your cattle should not and even your gods will not abhor and he will bless your birds he will bless whatever you lay your hand on and even the saucepan you cook in it will be so happy I will bless you Nava o as I promised the word bless means to give you power to prosper power for peace and well being power for health and wealth that is the word bless it is a religious benediction that sanctifies you and causes you to prosper Deuteronomy 8.18 remember it is I the Lord who gives you power to make wealth Praise God. Amen. It's God who gives you power. That power is God bless. Don't you see you have that small business you do? It's only lacking blessing. If it gets a blessing, people, as if they're sending them. As if they're sending them to go and buy by force. God can open your door. That every day you open be strong. Power to make wealth comes from God. He speaks in Proverbs. That my blessing makes rich. And adds no sorrow. When God gives you blessing, takes away sorrow. It's what I'm praying for. That God takes away sorrow. That God takes away sorrow. Because God will cause the world that he will make you rich and rejoice and be a rich person who is healthier. It's not in the Bible. Nodding your head is not there in the Bible. But in the Bible, there is saying Amen. Every time they give the promise, you say, Believe it with your heart and receive it. Hallelujah. So God wants to bless you. The little you have, when He blesses it, it comes back to you. When it is blessed, shaken together and overflow when he has not prayed it many times and then you see how you increase whatever you lay your hand on is blessed don't see even as blessed 
the pastors who are blessed and even pastors who are cast let's call them poor when he will never come out of you may think they put some wires on the next going nowhere say I'm out of them in the name of Jesus say I'm among rich people I'm among the blessed people I will not be stagnant but I will grow rich in the name of Jesus pray the blessing of God pray for 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 the blessing of God lift in the name of Jesus pray for the blessing of God Give you favor in the Savior of Mukisa Wakatonda. Refer the blessing. Put it up a custom of Gurabi or Tunda Muridere. Take us out by what you say. Mukisa Wakatonda. Refer the blessing. Who else Jesus had his own caramelidere? Open your closet. Who Savior of Mukisa Wakatonda. Refer the blessing. Who would have his arena? Double, 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 Will I become Rutakomo or Tamale? Indeed, the gospel is done. But to take a moon call, so let's act this month. More if you've been here, I want you to hear the word of God. If you're here, and you earn between 10,000 and 100,000, at least get 10,000 and offer it over the project building. That God may not pray you a thousand times in the name of Jesus. If you earn between 100,000 and 9,900, at least get 100,000. At least get 100,000 and offer it over beauty you will see how God will not pry you and you will see how God will not pry you and you will see how God will not pry you and you will see how God will not pry you and you will see how God will not pry you and you will see how God will not pry you and you will see how God will not pry you and you will see how God will not pry you get at least one million eh? and offer it unto the work of God and see how God is going to apply you if you want to stay on your level do not bother yourself do not bother yourself it will take you from the level yet you still wanted it and even you want to go to another level but you don't want to give I pity you tell your neighbor that pastor is pitying you if he's not telling you that no one is the one the law now I want let's take the step of faith this month before the end of February that every person may do something I don't know whether the ISO in the morning I didn't do I gave them envelopes but I want every person to do other horse like the hospital we shall make it right in the coming week amen Give a person a paper. On the high speed. 
Angu wa nyonyo nyotoro wa utewete gereza kugaba bukabika papula. Just give out the paper. Papula wa buli bubiri bubiri. There are two papers. Ufana gana. And they resemble Ila each other. Ila kulike yemu. And the same number. Na dala buba member wa chache eno gweka tuwale. More special if you're member of the church again. Ba kunta deko kumutima guangu. Kusabira mpaka angu gaga wa domo. Because they put on my hand for you. I usually pray for you always. Na yichi nubachi. Chino chonchu ulira. But I feel this one, this is the time of it. If you know the member of this church, you're free to come to join it or not. Here we don't want those groups of porridge people. We are all intercessors. We must give a time intercessing for our houses, our families. Though they are those with that, with that gift, they go deep in it by the people who lead us in those prayers. Amen. So we don't want our singers to go in that group of poor people. Hallelujah. So just put on a white mask and be smart. But at least the white one. Amen. Every minister. Where are you at the level you are? You can but if you feel you are, you also participate in it. That's why God has sent you this the place. There are many churches in the Mobende. If you feel you are, you can participate in it. But God has sent you here to get in that message. You are a candidate for prosperity. You are a candidate for prosperity. You may think that if 50 million is much, will I manage it? So that car I drive. That is the money. When it's already finished, for you think it's a lot of money. 50 million. It's a lot of money. No. Little money. And I'm not praying for you to pray. So feel that paper. Pray. And tell God I want to be faithful. I'm tired of this labor management. I've ever seen the loans. I've ever seen the loans. I've ever seen the loans. But I want to go to another level. Feel it. Feel it. I told you if you be three, at least one you mutuaro. No. Unless you give ten thousand. So between that gap, that's the money you should give. If you be three hundred thousand and one million. At least be three hundred thousand. But you are free to add in that gap. That you should give him. That you should give him. If you live no and going above at least give one million that is not What happens not enough for you. you. You must give it to God that he may make That he may go to another level. The levels of letting The level moving of the world. The levels of moving of the world. But I pray for them. Let them go from level being up. 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 Set up a tone. Yes, the grace of God. I'm going to go get a I'm a set up a kura kura nya. I'm a set up over millionaire and billionaire. I'm a billionaire. Dress up. We're going to show you how to be a billionaire. We're going to show you how to be a billionaire. Bless the hands of God. Bless the hands of God. In the name of Jesus. Business will be as it ends. The new business begins. Project will be as it ends. The new project begins. When it's you who are beginning them. In Jesus. And they may be established. And even have more businesses. Amen. 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 So come quickly. You put the paper in the basket and then the money you put it in the box. Do not go with our paper. That's why I have to feel all the pieces. You remain with one and then another. We are not going to put your name there. Do not be worried. We are only going to put that number. 
Amen. You be knowing yourself. Because there are some people who go to not born. And then say, only this. And, and this is the same one to give. And then they disabuse all the time. I pray my God, my pray you. To you this week that you may see the goodness of God. May God praise you. May God do you gracious. May God surprise those who thought you'd be poor. There are people who look at and think you'd be poor. Lord, Jesus. May God do it for you. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen.